bit of a late start for this week's vlog. Um, I really didn't get too much reading done so far. It's actually like a Friday night and I didn't do any reading on Sunday which was the 13th. That was my niece's second birthday so pretty much as soon as I got up I got me and Ellie ready and we went to my mom's house and I blew up between 70 to 80 balloons for this party for her. Totally worth it based on her expression when she walked in. And I had a helium tank for most of them. I probably only blew up between like 20 and 25 with my, with my lungs. So it was totally worth it because she walked in the door and we were just like, you can see how big her eyes got. And she went, it's all for me. And like the back room of my mom's house, I just threw all the extra balloons all over the floor for her and it was like totally worth it to see her expression. We had a good birthday for her, so it was nice. Monday, I did end up getting some reading done in, grab one of my books here. Um, I did read a little bit of City of Fallen Angels. Uh, we're not super far into it. I mean, I guess we're a good chunk into it. I mean, we're reading it at a nice steady pace. I just like actually need to sit down and read it because like, I have been reading this book forever for Haunted Library-a-thon and tonight my plan is to sit down for a full sprint and just read. I kind of have like everything done at this point. We are in my first like actual reading sprint because I did host um, the watch along for Haunted Mansion tonight and so during Haunted Mansion I finished doing my laundry and worked on my diamond painting which making excellent progress on that. So now I just need to sit down and read. I don't need to. I just want to sit down and read so we're in this first part. Since I finished Falling Laundry, I'm going to focus on the Midwest Survival Guide by Charlie Burns. And that is the um, nonfiction comedy book that I'm reading right now. It's going really well. I'm actually a good chunk of the way through it. I'm like 54% through it. So I'm going to sit down for the rest of this part and read that. And then I'm going to juggle back and forth between City of Fallen Angels and um, Order of the Phoenix. So, kind of where we are. Um, I also end up finishing on Tuesday. Um, Wendy's Magic Feather, which uh, the foreword was by Stephen King, and then Richard uh, Kaismar is the author of it. Really well. Um, giving that one four stars. I really did enjoy it. Um, I know there's the last part of it, like Wendy's Final Task or something um, by King that's on the Stephen King, like, works to read. So, looking forward to that one. And then I started Something in the Water by, gotta look at the author's name, uh, Catherine Steadman. So that one's going really well, and it's actually read by the author. Hi, Elle. Um, It's read by the author. It's going really well. I'm um, like 13-ish percent through. I'm going to try to listen to it more of it tomorrow. And yeah, I just, I really didn't get much reading done. Like, I was just completely knackered every single night this week from like, not so much Monday. Like, Monday I did reading, you know, but like Tuesday, I could not even make it all the way through, so like, watching people's sprints, like... I would start falling asleep in the middle of a sprint and I would hear them talking because the sprint was over and I would literally just shut my laptop and I did that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. I was like, I was just so knackered after work. I don't even know why, but like, I was so tired and so I really just didn't get much reading done, but it's Friday night and um, since I hosted Haunted Mansion and I just like didn't want to be knackered tonight for that, um, I have, <laughs> this is, I've only had one. I've had a, um, a cherry alani. And I like this one because it doesn't have red dye in it because I'm allergic to red dye. And this is like the one cherry slush thing I can have because there's no red dye in it. So I've been drinking that, so I feel pretty good right now. And um, Ellie's here to join this. Ellie has a lovely Halloween-y sweater on right now. So, oh, she's coming closer. Oh, she's coming closer. Oh, here she is. She's closer now. Um everything's going good. I want to try to get some of these books read tonight and tomorrow morning somebody has a grooming appointment. So she's finally healed enough that I think she can go to the groomer from her little lovely anal gland um, party that we had. Explosion. Um, so I think she's finally healed enough that we can go to a groomer and she can have that expressed so that it doesn't happen again. You know, here we are. But yeah, I think we're, we're doing pretty good, aren't we, Al? We doing good? You gonna, you gonna sleep while I read? Another late night update here. Um, don't, actually, you know what? You really can't see it that I have a little patch right there. But, um, Friday night, I got a good chunk of reading done. I got a good chunk of the Midwest Survival Guide. It was like, it's like 67%. 
I got like 80 pages read in Order of the Phoenix and I got like 103 pages read in City of Fallen Angels. Great, great progress. Went to bed, everything's fine. Went over to my mom's today. Ellie had her grooming appointment. My mom's dog had their grooming appointments at the same time because we purposely scheduled it like that. My mom and I went out to lunch and by the time we were done eating, the dogs were done being groomed. And my sister wasn't feeling well when I went over this morning. Like my mom had said like she spiked a fever yesterday. It was it was like wasn't terribly high, but like it was a fever, you know? And like she still didn't feel good this morning. And so she took a COVID test, came back negative. Like she's 17, like I mean she can kinda handle herself kind of by herself, you know, like hey, why don't you rest? Like you you got something, but we don't know what. And when we got back from the groomers, she started like bawling in pain and she, my mom goes you want me to bring you to the er because i mean it's saturday what else is open and she was like no 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 i eventually said mom well, like, just take her to the er because something is wrong and my mom took her to the er while well, i watched my little brother who's 10 and i watched all the dogs and my sister had a one of the mill uti that went to both of her kidneys and after she comes home from the ER, she's on antibiotics now. She's doing she's doing better already. They gave her some um, antibiotics with catheter at the ER, and they gave her antibiotics to take home and stuff. But she's doing she's doing better than she was. But this girl was having UTI symptoms for two to three weeks. Hello, ma'am. Before she said anything, like she didn't say anything about like, hey, mom, it burns when I pee. My pee's a different color. I had to pee like every 30 minutes even though I don't really need to pee like she just said none of this for like the past two to three weeks and then today afterwards she's like she's like reading her discharge paper she goes yeah I had like all of these symptoms did you just think all of these symptoms were normal like it, it, you normally it's it's normally like that girl no you gotta say something she's doing better now it is late it's very late because yeah they honestly didn't get home until like 10 something from the er and it's past midnight now and i got home i like took a shower and stuff after i talked to my mom so um reading wise today while they were gone i mean i didn't i mean i was kind of just waiting for an update from my mom my brother and i watched haunted mansion the same one that i did a watch along on on friday night um and we watched inside out 2 again and I end up finishing the Midwest Survival Guide. I'm mean, giving that one five stars. It's highly enjoyable read. Loved it. It, I mean, it is, it's a comedy and there's a lot of aspects that are true, but like some things are exaggerated, but like, when aren't things exaggerated? Do you know when you're like doing satire and stuff? So, really did enjoy that. Um, and I meant to pick up Sadia Fallen Angels. I just never got around to it. I just like physically didn't want to sit up and hold a book. And I'm still not feeling it now. I'm, I mean, I'm not that tired yet. And so I think I'm just going to pick up my Kindle and read um, The Christmas Countdown because I really still don't want to physically hold a book. And we'll keep going strong, you know? I'm going to the pumpkin patch tomorrow, so hopefully I remember to take some B-roll of the pumpkin patching. And we're going to start painting pumpkins. i got to start painting my work pumpkin. So there's a PTO day on the line. And um, we'll go there. But here's Miss Ellie. She's all freshly groomed. She did not wear that sweater to the groomers. No worries. I, I took her sweater away from her. But we're back home now. And it was a little chilly in here because I, um, I had the window open. So it was a little chilly, wasn't it, Elle? She's out. She's, she's asleep. She's so, so tired.